What's your thoughts on what Senator Kennedy says during this debate with this uh, prison reform guy? Do you believe what he's saying is true? Or I think people can change and not everybody that's in prison is in there because they really did the crime. Some people just get it put against them and they're wrongfully convicted and they're wrongfully imprisoned. You know what I'm saying? And we have a lot of that that went on, especially in earlier years. Hell, it's still going on today. What's y'all's thoughts on this? Check it out. What crime did you commit? Second degree murder and attempt to second degree murder. Okay. Uh, who did you murder? Jeffrey Owens. Jeffrey Owen? Yes, sir. What, why did you Why did you murder him? I was a 16 year old kid. Jeffrey, me and Dewan had a confrontation, and Jeffrey was an innocent bystander. Okay. So you shot Jeffrey by accident. Yes, sir. You intended to murder somebody else. I was defending myself against Dewan Lewis. Okay. Mr. Lewis, you shot at Mr. Lewis? Yes. And you missed? Yes, sir. And you hit Mr. What was his name? Mr. Jeffrey Owens. Mr. Owens? Okay. Yes, sir. Um, did Mr. Owens have a mother? I think everybody born in, in the world has a mother. Yeah. Um, but did he, was his mother alive when yes. you killed him? Yes, she, she's still alive. Okay. Did Mr. Owens have a father? Yes, sir. He was sir. alive when you killed him? I don't know about his father. You never checked? I mean, as a prisoner in Louisiana, you cannot did, check on did, those did type Mr. of things. Did Mr. Owens have any brothers or sisters? Yes, he did. Okay. How many? I don't know. Okay. Um, you, you mentioned that your, your, your mother cried when you were sent to Angola. Um, do, do you know how Mr. Owens' mother felt? Have you ever reached out to them? May I ask you a question, Senator? Well, you answer mine first. I, re, I, I, I would answer yours. Okay. And you're asking me questions that an incarcerated person cannot answer. Uh -huh. I don't know what Jeffrey Owens' mother did, but human anatomy tells me that, yes, his mother had to cry because she lost a son that she brought into the world. Okay. Yes, his father, if he was living, he should have cried. His brother cried. It, did you ever reach out to Mr. Owens' family? Sir, as a... As, you a senator from Louisiana. If a person like me that was incarcerated reach out to any person that's a victim, that's a sentence. You go to you go to prison for that. And I was already in prison, so that's a different sentence. So you couldn't you no, couldn't you, write. by law you cannot reach out to the victim or the victim's family. Well, I, I will tell you I came today because I thought we were going to have a and I hope we were gonna have. A, a, a rational discussion based on empirical evidence on a, on a very complex, complex, nuanced subject. Um, I'm frankly, I'm disappointed, you know, Ms. Turner, Professor. I just don't think these emotional arguments are, are, uh, are at all productive in us trying to solve a problem. I, I you know, I, I, my people are in prison for a reason. Uh, I believe in free will. I get the impression that the ACLU position and the professor's position, I don't know about Mr. Wynn's position, uh, is that you, you feel sorry for these folks who are in prison. I wish they weren't there too, because but they're there for a reason. They've really hurt somebody. In Mr. Wynn's case, he murdered somebody. He actually killed somebody by accident. He meant to kill this person, and he shot this other person he could have killed too um and and i'm, I'm kind of disappointed and and i just don't think <laughs> we're going to solve this problem with emotional arguments from people who don't believe in free will and responsibility that's just my point of view but i thank you all for being here